Well, most of us can probably remember the last time we were stung by what we thought was a bee. We are coming into the part of summer where those little buzzers really ramp up. I just got stung, got stung last, last week. week, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. Uh, I've had Greg from Minnetonka wanting to know why do bees sting? Amelia wanted to know too. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. Well, as Heather Brown discovered, bee sting is kind of a misnomer. Last time you were stung by a bee? I was nine years old. It was in 19... 92. It was a tennis court in the woods. You can still remember it to this day. <laughs> just like a Trump drama. I'm kind of freaked out right now. <laughs> Honey beekeeper. I'm a third generation. Brandon Crosh had us stand six feet from a quarter million bees. Do these guys really care about us right now? No, they they know we're here, but they're they're not interested in in dealing with us. If you stuck your hand in the hive, mm -hmm. they may sting you. Is it a just they're defending the hive? They're defending the hive. It's just a defensive mechanism. Why would a bee sting you away from the hive? These bees generally won't unless... I stepped on one. Ooh, that'll do it. Yes. So technically they're not stinging you, you're stinging you. <laughs> <laughs> you're just pushing their stinger out into your, okay, into your bodies. The vast majority of, quote, bee stings actually come from yellow jackets. Yes, it was a yellow jacket now that I think about it. Uh, That's a form of wasp, which often lives underground. Did you do anything to provoke it? Yeah, I was digging in the ground. <laughs> Usually if you get stung by a wasp or hornet like that, you're within 15 feet of their nest. Okay. So and I might not even know it. You might not even know it. What makes wasps more aggressive than bees? Uh, mainly the diet, mm. because you share a similar diet. It's up. I don't. It's up for flies. Do bees get a bad rap? They get a terrible rap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor bees. I know. Really? Uh huh. <laughs> You're guilty. Now only female bees and wasps have those stingers, so the male bees and wasps are never the culprit. And it is true. While wasps can sting you over and over and over, a honeybee usually dies after it stings someone once. That's because its stinger is barbed, so when it pulls out of the person, half of its body stays in your skin. It's pretty yeah, brutal. Quiet. Yeah, but here's the ultimate irony. Honeybees will sting wasps really? if wasps try to invade the honeybee hive. Huh. How about that? So yeah. I was, it was a wasp sting. Yeah, that was yeah. what you got. But was Frank, half... Frank got him, though. Yeah, Frank I did got get him. He's my Frank. hero. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. That was like um, part good question, part I team. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Really good PR for the there. bees tonight. Right, too. Exactly. So. Save the bees. All right. mm -hmm. Thanks, Heather. Mm -hmm. If you have a good question for Heather, you can email it by going to wcco.com slash links.